he's not going to end up, or she is not going to end up living well with anything in the future. You know, so you got to have space. Do I expect I'll keep that fish? Yeah, probably. You know, um, I try not to sweat it that hard. You know, but these things, and even the barbs. If I could spawn the barbs, that'd be great. You know, I don't really care much for hunting them, but I sure wouldn't mind spawning. Just to be able to do that, but then nothing, anything that's ever spawned in this tank has lost everything to, even, to become a meal. Uh, and that's true. Uh, what do I feed this tank? You know, for the most part, I feed it community from Southern Delight, and, and I'm getting real into North Bend. Uh, North Bend for me is coming on real strong just because they got a lot of everything. Uh, you know, Jay Wilson. You know, Jay Wilson, you ever heard that name? Uh, you can go ahead and get this from him. Uh, should you be? I'm going to give you guys a um, But this is sick with formula. You know, I'm reading the back of this. This has a pretty good balance for everything in here. Um, as far as, uh, you know, every other day, every three days feeding, I like to keep it mixed up where one falls short and another will fill its place. Uh, that's how I feel about fish food. Um, I wouldn't dare feed my family one thing every day, regardless of how perfect the nutrition is. Um, you know, I, I come out of kitchens, so I, that variety is necessary for me. But I think fish will appreciate that too. Um, so, but they do get a lot of other things. So that's going on. See how it brings them out. Now, I got a lips of her eel here who is not going to tell a train. That is my fear, is that I'll have this deal for a very long time and it's not ever going to help. Maybe that's all right. Um, I have a jag here that's just about to show whether or not it is male or female. I like the personality on the jag a lot. I like it a lot more than the Texas sticker, but it is not the dominant fish on the tank for Texas. Um, but that's just me talking smack. So let's do some close-ups. Bash is doing good. I just put the uh, level up to the side of the tank. It has some notches for uh, length on it. Bash right now, 11 inches real strong. Coming up on that one foot mark in no time. So I'm really proud of this guy's progress. He's a super, super cool fish. You know, he was, he's, every now and again, he gets a little fussy, but definitely so far has not taken on that dovi craziness and I you know he will uh, just I have he hasn't gone there yet and I'm okay with that so Bash is a good boy I gotta move that I don't want him rolling that pot into the glass I gotta tie that down to the thing what I do for his this is I just put one of those egg crates down which he has dug up so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to zip tie through these holes to that egg crate and allow, that way he can roll, try and roll it around, but I'm not gonna wake up one morning and find that he's rolled his house into the glass a little too hard or something during some sort of dovi episode. So that's bashy. There's a lip a good shot of the lip uh, A lip also coming up. Nine 
fish inches, maybe 10. I don't know that this fish gets really that long. I mean, he eats, he gets a lot of good protein in him, and, I, and he just doesn't seem to get much bigger. It certainly has enough swimming space. Uh, so that may be it for that fish, who knows? We'll see. If I can get him up to a foot, if I would be pretty impressed with that. Loaches too, another loachy thing. Clown loaches are pretty badass. Gotta give it up to clown loaches. What are going on here? Gold Severum. Gold Severum was sort of a donation. Super cool fish. I got two. One not doing so well right now after that move. I think it got a little freaked out. I might do a little salt dip on that. Those barbs provide a lot of traffic, which I dig. Got my uh, Suronomensis, Geophagus. That is a badass. It's a little fish, too. I'm, I'm really torn. I have an idea for the, the future of this tank. I have a real strong idea for it, but... And then I'm looking at this tank, and that darn little Suronomensis swims by, swims by, and it just jacks my whole plan up, because quite frankly, I'd like to have more of them. I think of a little school of five or six of them. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Who else do we want to talk to in here? We got uh, Ghosty 2 in here. Ghosty 2 is Black Ghost Knife Fish, of course. Um, this fish will venture out, but the lights need to be off. It really has got to be pretty hungry to come out with the lights on strong like this. Uh, in the crack there is Chubby Pleco, which we're not going to waste a lot of time with because he's not playing nice. We've got Red Cactus. Um, Leopard Cactus Pleco back there. This is a phenomenal Pleco uh, that I've had for some time now. Um, and I'm stoked on it. I got it for a fair price and it is uh, continuing to be a badass. Texas Cichlid. Uh, I traded my rainbows for this fish, which I... <laughs> stoked. Uh, this fish is the bull of the tank right now. Um, with regard to the cichlids, Whatever. Oh, Opu. Could this be a good shot of the oh, Opu? Fucking hands. It's a Hawaiian sleeper goby right there. I got it because it looks like a wolf fish. <laughs> and then I thought it'd be cool to attempt to spawn him in the future just when I get my tank space and my act together. I think that'd be pretty cool. But that's a great shot of him. Or her. Males get larger. Um, males can get up to, uh, geez Louise, 14 or so inches. Females top out at maybe 8 or 10 inches. If I, I mean, I'm kind of guessed or remembering that. I don't really know that exactly. I think that's pretty close though. But anyway, I really dig this fish. It has no shyness about it. No, no, it'll tell you exactly when it's hungry and. <laughs> That's it. And it holds off the other fish. I mean, I have some nice young cichlids in here, territorial cichlids, and this fish doesn't give a rip. It holds them off real hard, real strong, no problem. But we're gonna let this guy continue his little thing here. Who else do we want to see? Yeah, here. Are hiding in the shadows? Little shadow puppies? Suckers all over this thing. I think I'm going to add a couple more rocks. I'm a little specific with this. You know, I started out with the, I know, glare. I don't want to be one of those guys that apologizes for glare. What, you don't really care am I apologizing for reflection? Um, rocks, I'm pretty specific. This petrified wood, I have so much of it, I think it would be weird to just throw something else in there. So I'm not going to. If some petrified wood shows its head, uh, I will stick it in this tank with a big smile on my face, but until then I don't really feel I'm going to try and make up the difference with wood and more tubing because the uh, stock current and future will need as much hide as possible um, so they don't get to in each other's face. What else do we want to talk about here? Oh good, there's Sailfin Pleco trying to come up a little bit back there. Give him a second. No, not going to do it. All right. You'll just have to trust me. Oh, Serenimensis. So rad. 
If you ever will turn for me and you catch that reflection, I mean, they hit this there. They have this amazing, like, line pattern of iridescence on their side. Fuck, it's ridiculous. But it ain't gonna happen. Come on, baby. There. Hang on. So fly. I mean, and this is still a very, very young fish, so I mean, by the time it ages at all, it's gonna be just incredible. Yeah, I still got some poop in the tank. I don't know if you noticed, but this fish in here. Oh, look, it's scrapping. Look, it's scrapping. I don't mind scraps in my tank because I don't keep fish that are all that expensive. You know, sometimes you'll see these guys with these $800 plecos ripping each other apart, and I just. <laughs> it's not funny. It is not funny. I'm a father and a homeowner. That is not funny. That's good money you just threw in that tank or ripped itself apart. I mean, the super popular thing is African cichlids, and I don't keep them. Why? Because I can't take the pressure. I know I, I know I can't take the pressure. I don't want my fish beating each other up. These barbs stress me out. Stupid things. They keep me stressed out. Once they get horny and they start bumping, slamming into each other, and then they'll lock face to face and spin around sideways. Intense speed spins. It's, it's not funny. It is not funny. Yeah, I gotta pull that old other gold Severum out and get it going. It's not doing good. There's my big guy in here, though. You need to run. You don't, you don't need to run. This is your chance to get rad. There, you see? You see? You see? You buggers, I told you. Sexy. That's why I kind of wish I had more. I might give a call to Matt and MS Freshwaters in Oahu for all your fish needs. Anyway, so I'm rambling at this point. That's top tank. Here's bottom tank. A lot of tank for one fish. But if I were to drop any of my other fish in with this fish, you would know immediately why it's not that way. I'm so into this fish, dude. He's gonna get into his new tank and just be smiling. And then if he's in that tank, what am I gonna do with this tank? What am I gonna do with this tank? What do you guys think? You let me know. Hope you guys have a good night. What is this? Tuesday? One day. I don't know where I am. This new job's got me all over the place. Whatever. Hello. Ha.